What's up guys, in this video, we are gonna talk about domain types and whether you should use a .com domain name or another type of domain name like a .us or .net. I'm Andy, you're watching Learn How, and I help people learn how to use technology to build an online business. And in this video, we're talking about domain name extensions and domain types. Now you've probably seen that there are a lot of different domain name types available nowadays. Let's jump on over to Google Domains and I'll show you what I mean. You can see right here on Google Domains that if I'm shopping for a domain like cakeandcookies.com, you can see here that there's a lot of different types of domain extensions available. So you've got .net, .org, .us, even .glass or what? .pizza? You see, there's a lot of different domain types these days and a lot of people get caught up thinking, oh, I, I wanna make sure that I have the perfect domain name. I wanna get the domain I want. So if you're super set on the domain name cakeandcookies.com, for example, or cake and cookies, you just really feel like, oh, it needs to be cake and cookies, but you don't wanna pay for this example, $900 to get this domain name you might be tempted to go with something else like cakeandcookies.us or if you're feeling very adventurous, cakeandcookies.pizza. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, I highly recommend you go with a .com domain name. It's more important for you to get a .com domain name that is relatively close to what you want it to be than it is to get the exact domain you were hoping for with a different type of domain extension. Dot coms still rule the internet. A far majority of websites on the internet today are using dot coms. It's the best extension for SEO. It's the best extension just to simply be remembered by people because most people will go and search dot com for your website. And then the other thing is, is a dot com still has a lot of value as far as credibility goes. People feel that unseen sense of value when they see a .com website versus let's say a .pizza website. If you were to tell a friend, hey, I started a blog, I started a website, it's cakeandcookies.pizza. They're gonna look at you and say, what? And you're gonna say, yeah, just go into www.cakeandcookies.pizza. And they're gonna say, wait, like cakeandcookies.pizza.com? Like what kind, what? Like, no, it, like it's dot pizza at the end. There's no dot com, it's dot pizza. You see how this is getting really out of hand and really absurd? If someone told me, hey, yeah, go check out my website. It's a, 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 a dog, dog costumes dot glass. I would say, wait, what? It's not dog costumes dot com. It's dog costumes dot glass. Like, it's just bizarre. And I know it's available. And I know for a lot of people it's cheap but it's just bizarre, it's just unnecessary. A .com is still a very powerful domain type that has a lot of weight in the online world. So what I recommend to everyone who's starting a blog is go with a .com. If cakeandcookies.com is not available, try a different spelling, try a different way to say cake and cookies. Uh, let's see, cake and cookies today.com. There you go, cake and cookies today.com is available but look for a .com. It is the best domain extension. It is the best domain type. If you're ready to start your blog or website, I've got a link right in this description that will show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to start your blog, how to purchase your domain name with Google Domains, and how to link it to your WordPress blog or website and get you up and running in like 10 or 15 minutes. Seriously, it is the easiest thing to do today to get your website up and running. So make sure you go and check out that link right now and get started with your blog today. All right, guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, make sure you're subscribed so you can come back and watch some more awesome tutorial videos to help you build an online business to create a life of freedom. I'm Andy Isom, we'll see you in the next video.